first few tabs in GNET Group's Power BI Showcase Solution for Climalytics have shown you the type of data and calculations that you can get with the Climalytics solution. Now let's take a look at where the real value is. How do you take third-party data, mash it up with that weather data, and find out how weather and climate can impact outcomes. For this example, we're using HCUP data, the Healthcare Cost and Utilization Project from the state of Arizona, and mashing it up with Arizona temperature data. Over on the left-hand side, you can see that we have data for the years 2007 and 2006. These are real emergency room admissions. And you can see here on the list that the admission codes are all heat-related. So these are all people who ended up in the ER because they had some type of heat-related illness. Down in the bottom left, you can see that as the average temperature goes up throughout the course of each year, the number of people who go to the hospital or the emergency room with heat-related illnesses definitely spikes. Over here on the bottom right, you can also see that there is a difference based on age. Individuals in the 19 to 30 year old age range are constituting the largest number of admissions. And in that age range, there's about a two to one ratio of males to females. Now, if you're looking at age one to 18, there's about a 50-50 split between males and females. So there's differences here based on both age and gender uh, when you're trying to predict how many patients are going to come to the ER. And you can see that as it gets hotter, you will also see more patients. Up here at the top, you can see the different hospitals and how many patients they saw. All of the hospital names have been anonymized with the last names of individuals who ran for president or vice president sometime in the past. If we were to look at just the year 2006, you'll see the entire page filters for that year, and you can see how the trends differ from the aggregate set as a whole. And if we were to look at just Douglas Hospital, You'll then see that the same trends we saw in the aggregate are uh, also there, just with a lesser total volume of patients. So looking at this report, it's fairly obvious that as temperature goes up, ER admissions go up, and that there's some differences based on gender and age. But if a hospital or emergency room wanted to predict the number of admissions that they're going to have in a given week based on the weather forecast, how would they go about doing it? And that's where the final page in the showcase comes into play. Using a predictive analytic tool in Azure, which is a machine learning tool called Azure ML, the trends that we just looked at based on real ER visits and real historical temperature data were used in order to build a predictive model. And you can see that that predictive model was very accurate. So in the sample data set used to test the model, there were 253 actual visits and the model predicted that there would be 255.6. So that's a very high level of accuracy, but that's not surprising considering that heat related illnesses are due to hot weather. You can also see how accurate the model was in predicting the number of individuals who would be male versus female. And you can also see by age range. So for example, there was a small sample size of individuals between 71 and 80 years old. So it was not uh, terribly accurate. But if you're looking at uh, individuals between 19 and 30 years of age, you can see it was uh, about 94% accurate. So most businesses understand that weather impacts their data. With Climalytics, you can quantify exactly how weather is impacting your data, and then you can use Power BI and related tools in order to turn that knowledge into value for your organization. If you'd like to learn more, or for a demonstration, you can get a hold of GNET Group by phone, email, or by social media.